Hello and welcome to Fantasy Akada presents the outside view powered by Fastener. Today we discuss the home team New Zealand squad predicted squad for the World Cup that they're going to play at home. Uh, remember the last time what happened in 2000 the time last time they hosted a 50 over women's World Cup. They went on to win it. So can they do a second time round it's all up to Sophie Devine and her team. Will they be able to do the same magic that happened in 2000. Let's come down to the squad. Let's come down to the batters. First thing first up Susie Bates, Amy Sadathwaite. Um, very difficult uh, to have to even think about a team that does not have Bates and Sadathwaite in it. Um, probably on their last legs but yes. Uh, who does not want to win a World Cup at home. Bates and Sadathwaite are going to be very very important and crucial for that New Zealand team. Uh, I have three more choices into that batting group. Uh, I first up have Lauren Down. I feel she's gonna open with Susie Bates right up there at the top of the order. Brooke Halliday to finish uh, that particular inning. So I potentially see her at number six odd. Uh, and Madeline Green. I would want to see her at three, maybe five. Um, so yeah, these are my batting options I have into that particular squad. Let's come down to the weight keeper. Um, uh, it's it's only one name. It's KT Martin. What happens if? Okay, there's some injury to Martin. Uh, they they are a home team. They're going to have they're going to have backups and backups and backups available. Uh, so KT Martin, I'll just keep her as the only wicket keeper into that particular 15 member squad. All rounders, you cannot talk about all rounders without naming this two. The captain Sophie Devine and Amelia Kerr. 2016-2015, did a lot of people know about Amelia Kerr? No one had an idea. 2021, Amelia Kerr takes a break from cricket. It becomes a huge news. Yeah, that's what Amelia Kerr has done in the last four years. Smashed a double hundred opening the innings, take a five wicket haul, go to England, Australia, India or any other country and perform, perform well. Uh, she's going to be a, the biggest superstar New Zealand might have ever produced. Uh, and Amelia Kerr deserves to play that World Cup. Amelia Kerr deserves to win it for her team. Who are the other two all-rounders that I have in my squad? One is going to be Frankie McKay. Um, done pretty well has led uh, her domestic team to victories um, there have been pretty few injuries the reason of which after making her return to international cricket she had to step back a bit didn't travel to england recently but do i see her returning for that india series and then play the world cup i definitely do i would want to see frankie mccain to that first 11 she deserves she she she's all there she can open, she can bat in the middle order, spin her way into the team. Frankie McKay deserves. And who's the fourth all-rounder? It's Haley Jensen. New Zealand have put extra weight on her. She opened the innings when Susie Bates was not available. I feel that's that's a bit much on Jensen. Uh, you would want her to be in the middle order, maybe closing uh, things for you, but not at the top of the order. Uh, so, but Jensen deserves. Yeah, Jensen will be in that team, will be in that 15 for the World Cup. Let's talk about the spinners. Uh, the first spinner, Leo Kasparek. Uh, there's no doubt about uh, her, her choice into that first 11. Lee Kasparek definitely makes that. How underrated is Kasparek? Uh, her numbers can tell you that. Uh, not a lot of people feel she's one of the best spinners in the world. Just go to the number C8 and you'll know that Kasparik is one of the best spinners in the world. She may not be taken in the same lines of a Kerr or a Eccleston or a Poonam Yadav. But is Kasparik that good? Yes, she definitely is. The other spinner is going to be Hannah Rove into that first 15. Tall height, spins her ball well. 
I feel she's going to be one of the players to watch out for in that World Cup. Let's talk about the paces, the pace battery. First, Lea Tahu, the leader of the attack. That's it. Second, Chess Kerr. The way she's performed in the last two years, uh, is she going to open the bowling with Tahuhu? There are no doubts about that. It's going to be Jesker. The third pacer, I feel it's going to be Rosemary Mare. Uh, in whatever the limited opportunity she's got, she's performed well, was a backup player last year at the WBBL, played for multiple franchises. Now, uh, whenever someone used to get injured, hasn't been in the best of forms but i feel rosemary mayor is going to make it rosemary mayor could be one of the players to watch out for in that world cup so this is my 15 member squad for new zealand but i still have three reserves i don't know whether they're going to keep reserves here because they are the home team it's going to be without masks but will they have three reserves with them i feel they should because what if katie martin gets injured just heading into that ground when there is a match that's going to be played. You cannot just call for a reserve and there is no backup wicketkeeper. That's the where Jess McFadden comes into play. She's going to be my backup wicketkeeper into the team. Natalie Dodd is going to be my batting reserve into the team. And Molly Penfold is going to be my backup pacer into the team. So this is my 15 plus 3 at the World Cup for New Zealand. Uh, you predict your 15 plus 3, you predict your squad for the New Zealand, for the home team. Tell me whether they are going to win it just like the last time won it when they played at home. That's going to be an important factor and important question I have for you. This is all for at Fantasy Akada presents the outside view powered by Fast Enough.